Hey, hey, everybody, it's your girl story time with Miss Tom on deck. I hope you guys are having a great day, afternoon, and or evening whenever you guys are seeing this. So check it out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me, right? You guys already know I appreciate that. I know it's been a minute since I've been on deck, right? But your girl has been thinking about other projects that I need to go ahead and put together for you all. Um, and in the meantime, in between time, this is just a quick dating story from hell, okay, uh, titled, He Said He Did Not Like It Tight. If you guys want to know what he did not like tight, all you guys got to do is stay tuned. All right, you guys, thanks for back. <laughs> thanks for being back on deck. Somehow I knew. I just knew you guys would get back on deck with me. <laughs> all right, you guys. So should I start off by saying viewer discretion is advised? Now, although this story is not going to be all like double X rated in case you think, you know what I mean? It's just, it has its points in it where I would say, um, you know, if you were young, if you are a younger person, if you are under 18, you might just move on, go listen to some stuff, you know, that under 18s listen to, even though sh under 18s these days, I already know. But anyways, I'm not going to get into all of that. You guys at home probably already know too, so I'm not even going to dance with it. Okay. So the story takes place a few moons back. Well not a few many moons back for those of you guys at home who is not very familiar with my channel your girl always say many moons ago meaning it happened years ago okay so for me this story did take place many moons ago okay many moons ago i was on this online <laughs> this online um this online dating app i forget the name i think it was um I don't know if it was Yahoo person or something like that. Anyways, it was a long time ago when all that stuff was popular and stuff like that. It's still popular, but now it's more stuff like um, if people go to Tinder or um, what is that other stuff called? Plenty of Fish or what's the other stuff called? Um, if you want to pay, you can go to other sites like... Um, Can I not think of the names? Can you think of the names of the other sites, the pan sites? Well, I, I can't think of it right now. I'll probably insert something later if I can recall or whatever else, right? But anyhow, so that stuff was really, really popular to just go and if you're bored to talk to people, to meet people all around the world to see what's going on and what's tea, okay? You can have somebody to talk to to help you pass time when you, you know, on your downtime when you're not doing nothing, right? Okay, so I was talking to this one guy. Let's call this guy Tony, right? We'll say I was talking to a guy named Tony. I don't remember his name anyway, so if it's <laughs> if you guys know me, you guys know I'm not the best with names. Okay, so I, I don't remember his name anyway. It happened so many, so many, so many moons ago. But anyways, we're gonna call him Tony. Okay. So I met this guy named Tony. Me and him was talking back and forth. Tony was a um, caramel complected brother. He was medium slim built, more slim than medium built, right? Athletic built, okay? So in the pictures he had, you know, pictures of his arms, guns, I can't even show you guys, but pictures of his arms, guns out, okay? Not that I'm all into the guns and stuff like that, but he just had a nice physique, okay? Cause I, I really ain't into that, but, but anyways. So um, anyways, he had pictures, he had nice pictures. He was attractive. By any means, he was attractive. He was about, he appeared to be about six feet, bald head, um, you know, like I said, um, medium to small frame, athletic build. He was a good looking guy, okay? So me and him, we were talking on the phone back and forth. Uh, no, no, excuse me, we weren't talking on the phone initially, we were talking on the app back and forth, right? And you know, when I meet people or whatever else, I don't give him my government name, okay? And I would assume that, you know, he wouldn't give his government name. I later found out he did give his government name. <laughs> different strokes for different folks. But I will say this to you guys at home. If you guys have never been on a dating app, well, I don't recommend dating apps anyhow. Let me just say that. I don't recommend anything that's not family. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't, recommend, I don't recommend nothing unless I feel like it's like could be something that could be a real thing for you, okay? So, I'm not recommending anything one way or another. But one thing I will say is that if you do decide to... Is that the ambulance? One thing I will say is that if you do decide to mess with dating apps or something like that, one, be careful. Two, don't give nobody your real information. Don't give them your real information because people could be crazy, you guys. They say things and they can just get all kind of creepy. And if you don't want to deal with them anymore, it could turn into something else altogether, okay? So just think about that. Okay. So, what was I telling you guys about Tony? Oh, so we were talking back and forth on the app, right? He would be at work. 
I was at work or whatever else and you know it was really I was passing time because you know I was on some board stuff and working and and just you know whatever else and he was probably on some some board stuff too or maybe meet some somebody new stuff or whatever else so we hit it off we was talking back and forth and then we ex we decided to exchange phone numbers right now I don't know if I knew back then about you know it's something out here that now where you guys can give people what you call a quote-unquote burner number that's a number that you can um, get it's free right you can get it's an online number basically you can get this number online and people could call you on that number you can answer that number um, and I think you may even be able to text that number but you cannot send that number pictures Okay, so it's uh, something like that that's been out for a while. I only learned about it through ki kids, okay? My kids, more specifically. But anyways, if I would have known about that back then, I probably would have gave them a burner number. But I didn't have a burner number, and I didn't know about it back then. Okay, so anyways, um, that's another thing you can do if you're meeting somebody these days, guys. You Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Well, um, anyways... So um, we, we, we had each other's numbers. We were talking. Like I said, I found out he was a construction worker. He said he had been doing remodeling houses for the better part of the past 15 or 20 years um, or whatever, which was impressive because I was, you know, I was a lot younger than, well, not that much younger, just younger than I am now. And, um, you know, he was older than me. Let's say we're going to put him about 12 to 15 years my senior, which was fine because I like older guys anyway. So that was good for me. Right. So um, <clears throat> anyways. He has, he had, he appeared to have a lot of stuff going for him. You know, we talked about his family dynamic, you know, and the fact that he, I think he said he had two grown sons. Um, he stayed, he owned his own home and it was about maybe four cities over from where I lived, okay, at the time. So, he, you know, this guy overall, I'm going to say this, <laughs> we had good conversation. He was cool beans and everything else like that. So, uh, you know, we were talking regularly for the better part of, let's say, a few months, right? And at this time, you guys are getting hot and I have to roll my window down, but don't forget I'm in the elements, so you guys will hear cars passing just like that one just did right there, right? Okay, so um, we were talking for the better part of like about four months or something else like that, and we decided that we were going to meet um, face to face or whatever. So he said that, you know, um, at the time I had something going on in my child care where I had a limited time or something else like that. Right. So, um, he stayed, uh, like I said, a few cities over from the city that I live in. So I agreed to meet him in the city, excuse me, <laughs> in the city that he lived in, because I didn't want him to be in the city that I lived in. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Just whatever else what was going on in my life right then and there just I didn't want nobody too close for comfort for me in my city and then I just sometimes I feel like people get creepy like you know what I mean they could say that they're leaving <laughs> or whatever else so they, so they could be watching you leave and then all of a sudden they're like really following you or something else like that call me crazy but I've had it happen okay so anyways so we agreed to meet in, in his city I caught the train out there because I didn't want to drive where it was a good distance from me. I just didn't want to drive. So I caught the train out there. He picked me up at the train station, right? Now, the things that I did back then as a younger woman just out there, whatever else, I wouldn't do that stuff now. Just public service announcement. Okay. He picks me up from the train station. We go to his house. His house is beautiful. It's a beautiful house. You know, it was, um, um, it was modestly, um, decorated um it had a, it had a charm and appeal to it it had a simplistic elegance in a way but you can tell that there was certain detail put into different parts of the house like the living room the fireplace and um the back deck okay and stuff like that but of course you know again he's a contractor who does um specialize in home remodeling so that made sense to me okay so anyways when we were on the way to the house he was like um i think he said something about we were just going to go straight to the house and you know what if we want to go to the store later or something else like that if we want to stop at the store later we could do that and i was like um okay i was really trying to get to know him in person type thing because we had we had really good chemistry over the phone and over text we had good chemistry right it's like i could be thinking something he would text it to me or he would pick up the phone and call me and say did you just see that and it could have been something about the news or whatever i was into at that time whether it be the news or a show we were watching or something else like that he would just be all over it right we had a lot of the same interest in regards to what we like to watch and stuff like that right okay so he starts, um, he said, okay, well, I'm going to start cooking. He said it was going to be lunch because I got there early, right? But for lunch, he started preparing the heartiest meal ever. I was thinking, who the hell prepares? Like, he started doing, like, um, roasted 
thighs and drumsticks and um, mashed potatoes and corn and all that stuff. I'm thinking that's dinner. Like, you know, who eats such a hearty meal for lunch? You know, I'm thinking, okay, maybe him, he's a contractor. Maybe that's his normal get up, okay? But now, as far as myself, when I'm at work or something else like that, I try to eat a lighter meal at lunch or whatever else just because I don't like to, um, I don't like heavy stuff on me because I want to concentrate. Now, neither of us were at work, I know. But, you know, I want to keep my energy. I don't want to be weighed down with all my energy gone. Okay, so he made the meal. Now, this was red flag number one about people just showing you let me tell you guys something people show you guys different parts of their cells once you start getting to know them more so in person i'm gonna say that in person okay so so anyways the food is ready and it's time to i guess it's time to eat so he has this beautiful um what do you call that? It's an island right it's an island where it has the push-up chairs some really comfy they were like um kind of like they were like cocaine white chairs you push in or whatever else and it's on an island that goes around like this and on the other side of that island is the refrigerator and the stove so it's actually really beautiful right okay so he was like okay you ready to eat i'm gonna make your plate right so i was like okay i'll be right back i went to the bathroom and wash my hands i come back out i see on my plate he just you know he took the liberty of putting like i think it was like two two drumsticks and some mashed potatoes and some corn but the plate he made me was just very presumptuous to assume that that's what i wanted on my plate you know what i mean <laughs> you guys if somebody make your if somebody make a plate of food for you do you think it's best that they ask you what you prefer on your plate or do you think it's better they just put it on your plate i don't know just my thoughts you guys might have to comments let me know what you guys think about that so anyways right i said okay <laughs> oh but let me tell you what was on his plate on his plate he had like three big thighs the thigh meat you know he had like three big thighs on his plate like mashed potatoes same stuff i had just like his proportion was crazy right now i wouldn't have had that proportion anyhow but i was like well shit, why the hell did he ask me if i wanted a thigh right so i was like well um <clears throat> so i said tony i noticed you made plates you gave me drumsticks i was like why didn't you put a thigh on my plate like one in one like one drumstick one thigh and he was like well um yeah usually ladies the ladies usually don't like drum no he said the ladies usually don't like thighs they say that meat's too heavy for them so yeah they usually don't care for the thighs I just gave you the drumstick. What the hell? I just gave you the drumstick. So very interesting. I'm like very presumptuous of you. Okay. You know, I was like, I said, yeah. I start talking to fast, you guys. I was like, you should ask, because most ladies are not all ladies. Light up the comments if you guys agree with me there. Okay. So, anyways, the time is passing. I, I mean, I let it go just trying to keep, you know, keep good energy and positive moving. So he says, um, would you like a glass of wine or whatever else to have? I'm like, it's early. To me, it was early because it was like early afternoon. But I'm thinking we eat a hearty ass. Who eats, you know, roasted chicken, mashed potatoes and, and corn? You know what I mean? And it was early afternoon for me. So I'm thinking this is a dinner meal. So if I might have dinner, I'm sure I'd have some wine with dinner. So you got to go ahead and have some wine or whatnot. And um, it was some Chardonnay or whatever else. We have some Chardonnay. So then he starts picking up his conversation was probably what he wants to say the whole time but he wants to feel comfortable enough to say it right so he starts talking about um we start talking about intimacy and stuff like that and he started he, he goes on a mini tangent with telling me i don't like a woman tight i do not they can't do nothing for me if they too tight i do not like a woman tight. i like them big loose and sloppy i like them big loose and sloppy I'm already thinking, no pun intended, but I'm thinking, well, that's, there's nothing I could do for you between you and I, you know? I, I didn't say nothing, you know? I was just thinking, now that right there was a lot, okay? That was a lot. I did not need to necessarily know that. And But the reason why he says that he likes a big, loose, and sloppy is he said because he was so well endowed. Listen closely, you guys. He was so well endowed that he wanted to make sure he wasn't going to hurt him. Did, 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 <laughs> did you guys hear me? He was so well endowed that he wanted to make sure he wasn't going to hurt him. And I was saying to myself, now, this is a really heavy conversation, right? The reason that the conversation is heavy is because you don't think it was mighty presumptuous of you to assume that just because I came over here to have a meal with you or have some wine with you that I was going to sleep with you? 
So what the, so if you didn't think I was going to sleep with you, then why did you still tell, why did you start telling me how well endowed you were? Okay. Then you start telling me you don't want nothing tight. It got to be big, loose and sloppy in order for you to enjoy it because you so well endowed that you, you know, you've had a, a reputation of hurting the ladies. You know what I mean? Now to some people out, out, out there. Okay. I already know some people out there would think that this was mighty uh, of excitement or a joke to it. It wasn't for me at all. I was thinking that's pathetic because I don't know if you, he could have been playing it two ways in my head because I'm very analytical, okay? He could have been going for it two ways. He could, you know, see, be testing me to see, is she the daredevil type? If I tell her I'm so well in doubt that I could potentially hurt her, is it going to make her more excited to run and want to jump on the ride and give it a shot, right? And I'm thinking, hell no, because I don't play into manipulation like that, okay? And another thing about it is, if she's, he could have been thinking, if she ain't no good, if she trash, could I let her... If she ain't no good and she trash, sorry you guys, I just got a text message. Okay, if she ain't no good and she trash, can I convince her still? Can I have some, please? If I tell her I like trash, she'll still give me some, right? <laughs> y'all let in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Where do y'all think he was coming from with that shh? I don't like nothing tight. I like it big, loose, and sloppy because I'm too well endowed and I'm scared I might hurt him. Light up the comments and let me know what you guys think about that. You guys, this is a very random story time. I know, I know, okay? But here's the whole thing. I just wanted to give you guys a little something to hee hee about. I don't. I was thinking going back down memory line with my bestie the other day, and I started uh, reminiscing. I was like, oh my God, remember that time I told you about old boy, blah, 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 blah. She laughed so hard. She was like, oh my God, you should share that story in the story time. So I'm sharing it with you guys here today, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell anyone, everyone, your girl's out here doing her thing, story time, and car, all in. And I will be back on deck with another series, series so you guys stay tuned, all right? Um, like I always say, there's always another story to be told, but for now, 